originally filmed my Nashville haul when I first got home from Nashville um, a few weeks ago, but I have no idea where the footage went. I think I accidentally deleted it, so decided I was going to go ahead and film a um, Nashville haul for you guys just because there's a lot of stuff here that um, I picked up and I was really excited about picking up. So, um, And just a quick note, I actually just filmed this tutorial here for my next little segment in my neutral series um, using the Smashbox softbox eye palette that I love so much. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I went to the Mac Pro store in Nashville and actually that's like one of the closer, they don't have a Mac Pro store in Atlanta. Um, they've got a bunch of Mac stores, Mac counters there. They've got one Mac store and a bunch of Mac counters but no pro store so I was really excited to get to go and see a lot of the like different kinds of products that this actually sell at the pro store versus a regular Mac store or Mac counter um so yeah gonna jump right in I picked up only one lipstick this is the Sheen Supreme lipstick you guys have already seen this in a tutorial um and this is the lipstick in Ultra Darling, which is actually like, I've been wearing this color all month long. So really nice sheer pink color. Looks great. Um, this is actually really close to my lip color. It's like my lip color, but slightly pinker. Um, so I picked that one up. Then I picked up a random tool. I got the Max Spatula. And this is great for scooping out products when you're working on a client. So it's good. there's a flat end and then a little scoop end, um, and it's really nice and heavyweight, so really, I was actually really excited to get this. This is one of the things that I've been trying to find for a little while. Then I picked up the MAC Mixing Medium. This is the eyeliner mixing medium. I was looking for like a glitter adhesive for when I'm using glittery um, eyeshadows on clients for things like um, run, like when they do runway and stuff like that um, for fashion shows. So picked this one up. This is the eyeliner base. Um, not much to say about it. Something good that like glitters can stick to. Um, the purpose of this is you can take any shadow, mix it with this, and then it turns a liner into like a waterproof So I picked liner. up four blushes and a sculpting powder. Um, I went ahead and took them out of the packaging so I didn't have to waste that time here. Um, first one I picked up is Devil Blush. It's this red-orange color and it's kind of scary to look at, but um, yeah, super pigmented, but you can definitely sheer these out so they're a little bit more wear wearable. Um, if you, let me know if you guys want me to swatch them. I can swatch out like a bold versus um, I guess sheared out color. So I picked that one up. Next one I picked up is Full Fuchsia, which again looks really scary in the pan. Super bright. Um, I've got a lot of darker skin tone clients where the blushes that I have aren't pigmented enough to really like even show up in their skin. So I went ahead and picked up some really bright colors. Again, you can always share these out. So this is Full Fuchsia. I picked up the blush in taupe, which I was a little bit disappointed with this one because I feel like I should have just exchanged this one because it's a lot like the sculpting powder, it's just slightly more pigmented. So that's what taupe looks like and that's what it looks like in the pan if I didn't just show that. And the last blush I picked up is Desert Rose. which looks like this in the pan and then swatched out looks just like that. I think I'm gonna really like this um, more so on myself. <laughs> so really like that and then I picked up one sculpting powder. I actually picked this up for myself to kind of play around with it and see how I like them and this one is in Sculpt and basically looks just like um, the taupe blush. So this is Sculpt this is taupe. Can you tell the difference? Because I really can't. <laughs> um, and then swatched out. 
that is sculpt. So again, see, basically the same thing. I should have exchanged it or just not picked up that other one. And the last thing that I picked up from Mac is the one thing I've been trying to get for quite some time now. Um, I have been doing some freelance work for uh, a while now, and I actually don't have a brush built that I work with. So I picked up one from Mac. Um, just your standard brush belt. Um, I've been meaning to order one online. I just never got around to doing it. I don't do a whole lot of online ordering when it comes to picking out supplies and stuff for my kit. Um, so I've just been a little bit hesitant. I went ahead, since they had them there, I went ahead and bought that one. Um, so that was it as far as the Mac Pro Store goes. I picked up a couple of random little... I went to Victoria's Secret, picked up a lipstick from there that I've been looking for in um, Cabana which is a really nice reddish orange. It's actually the color I have on right now. So that is the color right there. And then I picked up a lip gloss and it's the Victoria's Secret lip gloss in Sublime. And That's what it looks like swatched out. Really nice, neutral, cheer So that's pink. it as far as my Nashville haul goes. I was going to add some other random little MAC purchases that I made last week for my birthday, but I think I'm going to save that for another haul because I got um, a couple of gift cards for my birthday for MAC and Sephora, and I plan on going shopping, I think, next weekend. So, um, so I think I'm going to hold off on that. So stay tuned for the next haul, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye!